Hello everyone, Sigmalator here. Welcome back to Mass Effect 3 Legendary Edition. Uh... Hey Tally, how you doing? Shepard, uh, Commander. So how did you end up back with your fleet, Tally? When the war started, the Admiralty Board asked for my help. I had more recent contact with the Geth than most of my people. They hadn't filled the spot on the board left by my father. I was invited in. It's just a technicality. I'm far too young to be a real admiral. Don't sell yourself short, Tally. The board needed your expertise. You needed the authority that comes with rank. Damn right. How did the war with the Geth get started anyway? Admiral Zen developed a scanning countermeasure that interferes with Geth active scans. It's like a flashbang grenade. It effectively crippled the Geth ships in combat. My fleet couldn't pass up the chance to attack. Could we use it to fight the Reapers? It only works against the Geth, unfortunately. Their AI lets them use extremely detailed radar pings. Zen's countermeasure overwhelmed them with garbage data. And it's useless now that the Reapers have upgraded their processing power. Damn. How is it being back with the fleet? Right now, it's exhausting. I'm an admiral in the middle of a war. I just want us to get out of this alive. Everything else can wait. When this is over, I could use your help. I can't, Shepard. If we survive this, we'll have a homeworld. My people need me. You could help your people's homeworld by fighting the Reapers. I'd like to, believe me, but my people need me here. Oh, Tally. Talk to you later, Tally. Sure. Uh, is it always going to be this way between us, Tally? I could move to Rannoch. Good catch, trainer. Added the Corine fleet's combat data to ours. They've got amazing technical coverage. They might even have the Solarians beat for strategic processing capability. Do I have anything in here? I do. Uh, Shepard, I have something important to tell you. I need to do this in person. Can you meet me in the Commons? I'll send a nav point. No vis this time, I promise. Uh, dear Commander Shepard, thank you again for all you did to get our people out of that facility on Gellix. Admiral Hackett is an amazing man and it's a privilege to work under him. The construction on the Crucible is presenting its challenges, but my team and I are determined to crack its mysteries, although I never rely on luck. In this instance, I feel we may need a little. Stay safe, Commander. I hope our paths cross again. Same here, Bryn. Hey Shepard, this Crucible project is intense. Bryn and the others are on it around the clock. Pretty soon, I'll have to make a run to the Citadel to pick up some equipment. At the hospital, if you've got time, want to meet me there. Things were so crazy on Galaxy, it'd be good to see you in a quieter place, you know. Hope to see you around Jacob. Okay, so we've already done that. Malin. Commander Shepard, I just heard the news you cured the genophage and that some of the females from my experiments were involved. I can't tell you how good this makes me feel. There hasn't been an hour I've not thought about what happened on Tuchunka and wondered if I did the right thing. This news validates all the pain my experiments caused. I hope one day to meet the females again and ask for their forgiveness. After you convinced Dr. Solis to spare me, I took his advice and opened a clinic on, Ome on Omega. I thought it would help me make amends for whatever suffering I caused. I had to leave when word got back to Clown Warlock and they put a bounty on my head for failing to deliver a cure. Maybe now they'll leave me alone. I guess this is the second time you saved my life, Commander. With sincere appreciation, Malin. Well, don't read too much into it, Malin. Your data was valuable, though. I still do not approve of your methods. Damn, I could really use something to shoot right now. Good to have Tally back, even if it's just for a bit. Although every time you call her Miss Voss Normandy, I kind of expect to see her walking around with a tiara and a sash. As for the rest of the Quarians, though, are we okay with them blowing up a ship with you on it? 
We are not. Right, just making sure. Different standards and all. And you found Legion! He's still wearing that piece of your armor? Because that wasn't creepy at all. Shepard, the Geth continue to block quarrying access to the mass relay. The Normandy's stealth drive is allowing us to remain undetected. Right. We can hit the Quarian homeworld or get out of system whenever you want. Just let us know. One moment. I have been contacted by Legion. Your new platform is inefficient. It has low volume hydraulics and is top heavy. This is an infiltration unit meant to move among organics without detection. Without an artificial epidermis, its infiltration capabilities are ineffective. Still. The organics do not perceive it as a threat, nor will they until my day of reckoning. Edie. Did I vocalize that on the bridge? You did. You have acquired the organic attribute of asking questions to which you already know the answers. I see your humor heuristics still lack an expert system. Hello, Shepard. Ah, uh, Edie. You're a hoot. All right. Again? Where is it this time? Shepard, remember our agreement? We'd open a bottle of Cerise Ice Brandy every year, and it's my turn to buy. But it hasn't been a year yet. Yes, well, something tells me we won't have the chance a few months from now, so... Indulge my impatience. You grab the glasses. I'll open the bottle. Good stuff. And Jeff says, Jack, Jacqueline, subject zero. Sorry, but it's man to me. I'd like to keep my Admiral Winky. Oh, Shepard, you know, I just realized. You've never called me by my first name. Well, neither have you. And I never will. You are Commander Shepard, hero of the Citadel, conqueror of the Collectors, savior of the galaxy. Using your first name just disrespects everyone you're fighting for. Along you're right there, Doc. <laughs> that makes no sense. Consider it a lady's prerogative, then. Come. Let's have a toast. To a woman I'm proud to call my friend. I'm lucky to have you with me, Karen. And to you, dear friend. It is my great honor to share this journey with you. Commander Shepard. And good fortune to us all. I've learned my lesson this time. Even a Krogan couldn't match you drink for drink. <laughs> Legion on board. Oh, he's probably in the the war room, isn't he? Just checking on the the crew while we're here. Too bad you weren't here earlier, Tally. You just missed Rex. I Shepard's on a roll. I figure if we can pull that off, we've got a shot at sorting the Geth out. I don't know. The Genophage didn't carry rifles and fight back. No, but there was a scary bit with the mother of all Thresher Maws. The what? Long story. Nobody will believe it anyway. With you, Garrus, I'd believe just about anything. No. <laughs> we should play poker sometime. Anyway, it's good to have you back. Now, believe it or not, this damn gun still needs calibrating. Do you mind not hitting on my girl, Garrus? Shepard, you just knew the Geth would figure into this war somehow. Because Reapers weren't enough. Still, it's good to have Tally here. This is as much her fight as ours. Any word from Palavin? Some. And I don't like what I'm hearing. The Krogan are there in force, but they're just slowing the Reapers down, not stopping them. 
I'm not sure it's going to be enough. You hear anything from your family? But I did hear from Primarch Victus. He wanted my advice on fleet strength when the Crucible is ready. Still can't get used to people asking me things like that. What did you say? I said, at some point, we're going to have to decide if our fleets keep defending Paladin or we go on the offensive. Can't do both? Not with the beating we're taking. Like I said, not the sort of questions I'm used to answering. You know what you're doing, Garrus. Trust me, everyone can see that. Maybe. But you spend so much time on the outside trying to get in, and when you do, it's... not what I expected. How so? All the questions, and every one of them with a million lives riding on the answer. You do the best you can with what you know. It's no different than your days at CSEC. You're right. Though I'm starting to understand why the galaxy needs cold-hearted dictators every now and then. They get things done? They don't give a damn about the consequences. Suppose that's what it's going to take, Shepard. The ruthless calculus of war. Ten billion people over here die, so twenty billion over there can live. Are we up for that? Are you? If we reduce this war to arithmetic, we're no better than Reapers. A nice sentiment. Let's hope we can live by it. Cheap. Tally's a welcome face around here. Or, well, a welcome face behind the helmet, I guess. If the Geth still think Reapers are some sort of god, this war must be heaven to them. Maybe. Alright, let's check in on Liara. Make sure everyone's good. Joker, really? I have work to do. Oh, come on, it's just one simple question. Then look it up on the extranet. You can't believe everything you find there. It's more reliable to ask a friendly Asari. I'm not telling you if my hair tentacles move. Fine. Deny me the answer I've been seeking for years. With this war on, we could die at any second, you know? Joker, really? I have work to do. Don't you have a ship to fly, Joker? Fine, just asking a simple question. Thank you. Blackmail would have been awkward to explain to Edie. <laughs> it's good to see you. Alright, nothing there. Anything here? No. Alright. Alright, so we've done Caden. Where's he? Alright, oh, he's on the left side. Oh. Okay, so left is starboard. Or is it right, depending which way you're facing? If you can, Edie, that would be appreciated. Searching for any mention of your recruits is not a complicated protocol, Major. Trying to find out what happened to your people? Yeah. Edie, make this scope galaxy-wide. And if I can find just one squad, they may lead me to the others. Good luck, Caden. Thanks, Shepard. I'll let you know what happens. I will establish the routine now. Edie, out. By the way, Shepard, it's been good having Tally around. She's a good egg. But wait. Don't tell her I said that. In case it's some kind of Corian insult. But the Geth? I certainly could have lived happily without coming face to face with another one of those. Got a few things on my plate. Got a few things on my plate. Alright, I can take a hint. I'll leave. Alright. Down to engineering then. Who's down here? Engineers and Javik. Let's see how Javik's doing. I couldn't believe it when Shepard told me you were on the Normandy. It appears I have that effect on humans. Now Quarians as well, it seems. For what it's worth, Quarians understand what it's like to lose your home. As I understand, that was your own fault. What do you mean? In my cycle, Quarians didn't need helmets to survive. You were the masters of your own planet. That was a long time ago. And if you hadn't given birth to the machines, you would still breathe the air that evolution intended. I see. Liara warned me you weren't what she expected. And nothing about this cycle is what I expected. Even primitive quarians were considered attractive in my age. The 
pity no one can appreciate it now. Except for perhaps the commander. What? How, how do you know? <laughs> Javik! They're called Geth. Yes, a formidable opponent. Why did you allow one on this ship? Legion helped us before. It's still a machine. I take it you had your own problems with AI? The Jatil. They were as the Geth are to this cycle. What happened? Their creators lived on a dying world. It was beyond their ability to save. So they resorted to implants to enhance their intelligence. I think I know where this is going. The AI sees the physical body. It could alter the genetic material at the deepest level. In time, the offspring were molded into a slave race. Few organic traces were left. They were monsters. All machines commit treachery. The one you brought on board is no different. Maybe. But he's not like the other Geth. You can't know that. They are more alien than you and I are to each other. Just because Legion isn't like us doesn't mean he can't be trusted. You're wrong. Throw it out the airlock. How can you be that certain? Organics do not know how we were created. Some say by chance, some say by miracle. It is a mystery. But synthetics... ...know we created them. And they know we are flawed. Why do you say that? They are immortal. We are not. They see time as an illusion. We are trapped by its limitations. Above all, machines know the reason they were created. Edie might disagree with that, but I see your point. They serve a purpose, while we search aimlessly for ours. In their eyes, organics have no reason to exist. Do not trust them, Commander. I can't believe there isn't some way for us to coexist. We made them. And then gave them the power to surpass you. There is room for only one order of consciousness in the galaxy. The perfection of the machines or the chaos of the organics. Throw the machine out of the airlock, Commander. Ash. But you, you can understand it considering what he's been through. For him, it must have been just like yesterday. Alright, let's go downstairs. I've always loved the M35, Mako. It's got heart, you know? Ah, oh, come on! The M44 Hammerhead is vastly superior. Come on, that thing's made of tissue paper. At least the Mako can take a few hits. I'd hope so. That thing handles like a drunk rhino. No agility whatsoever. More like a bull that can climb and climb for days. It only climbs because of its stupid, vertically aligned mass effect field. Jump or stick. No speed. No lateral movement. Hey, with a cannon like that, who needs to move? If you want that, why don't you just stick with the old M29 Grizzly? Hey, I love that tank. <laughs> you would be one to love grizzly bears, Mr. Vega. <laughs> what? What's so funny? <laughs> All right, what have we got here? Oh, yep, yeah, getting these. So, no, nothing here. Nothing there. Yeah, all right. Commander, you flew that Geth fighter out of the Dreadnought? Actually, Legion did the piloting. I was stuck in a storage compartment with my squad. Would have loved more time with that ship. Too bad we sent it to hack its team so quickly. The next time you blow up a monastery, let me know you've left the premises, okay? I worry about you. 
Just one more diagnostic sweep. All right, don't overdo it, Steve. Hey, Shepard. Sounds like you guys had a crazy ride over there. You could say that. Sorry I missed it. And that Geth Legion. I know you two have a past, but... You sure we can trust it? Legion's not like other Geth. We can trust it. If you say so. I guess you can't always judge an individual by their... Species. Look at Sparks. If all the Quarians were like her, we wouldn't be stuck refereeing their war with the Geth. Sparks? Yeah, your Quarian friend. The jumpy one with the glowing eyes. Sparks. Uh-huh. Crazy that they pick now to start a fight. But I guess the end of life is we know it can make everybody a little loco. Just a little? Hey, not everybody's as crazy as you, sir. <laughs> Damn straight. All right. Let's go do something. Let's go and save Rannoch. Right, we need, uh, we need to do this one first, I believe. Save the Admiral. Uh, we'll leave you as that. Leave you as is. Do I have anything that just increases the weight? Is it the accuracy? No, I don't want that. Okay, we'll leave that as is. Not yet. What's your status? The civilian fleet has taken significant losses since Zalcoris sacrificed his ship to destroy a Geth ground cannon. Searching for their lost Admiral is the only thing keeping the captains from panicking. What makes finding the Admiral a priority? Despite opposing the invasion, he did an admirable job protecting our civilian ships. Without him, some of our non-combatants are planning to leave the flotilla. Picture the consequences, if you will. They've lost a leader in a war they didn't want. Their wants are immaterial. We are committed. Even Zalcoris understood the civilian fleet's importance. The invasion would be stalled without a supply chain, after all. I'll do what I can. Keep your civilians safe. I make no promises. My own ships must be coordinated for our final strike on Rannoch. I'm getting some static. What a bitch. Zalcoris crashed within range of a Geth jamming tower. You must disable it from her. Zen? Admiral Zen? Well, this should make things interesting. We'll see in a minute. Take us in to the tower. Oh, that's not good. We're taking fire. Hey, thanks, Steve. anti-aircraft guns beside the jamming tower we'll have to disable them on foot once the guns are gone you take out the tower right commander setting you down here my people have been in exile for centuries to be standing here in the land of my ancestors I need to keep an eye out for mines. No, can't climb up there. Jamming towers. Clever. But if we just towed in some asteroids. You want to drop meteors on Rannoch? You'd make it unlivable. The dust would settle, and you've already got the suits. Not really the point, Garrus.
Muss er pech. Alright, nothing. Oh, hello. Take that. Check anything on this? No? Alright. You're Fuck. all right. I'm okay. Watch out for more mines. Yeah. How many times did I tell myself to look out for mines and I still Can't ran into one? one. Death below us. All right, then. Anyone else around here? No. AA guns ahead of us. Come on, stick your head out. Looks like the gun has a control panel. Let's take a look. One of us needs to take those AA guns offline. Tally, you take the guns. No problem. I figure Tally will be the best one for this job. Oh, where did I get this? Good job, Tally. Shut down the two by the tower. Well, that was fun. I saw you, you sneaky little bitch. Right, grab the ammo. Alright. Hey.
Grab all the things. Hello, you. You. You heard my message. Send out a distress call. Radios are down. You a soldier? Maintenance. Dorm hats. I. Uh, I clean engine parts. This place is filled with geth. You should have hidden. I saw I could fight the other civilians time. Fight some geth. There were so many. First time I've even held a gun. Don't move. We've got Medigen. Oh, I've lost too much blood. Go. Look for the Admiral. Destroy that jamming tower. And you can radio him. We'll find him, Dorn. I promise. Please. Listen. The civilian fleet didn't want this war. If there's even a chance that Admiral Gorus can get us out alive. And my son. Tell him. Tell Jonah that his father made it to the home world. We will. Rest well, Dorn has the Vas Renak. Let's get to that tower. Okay, can't pick up that gun. Fair enough. I can pick that up though. Hello. Get turret. There we go. Yep, I'm on it. Finally landed one on you. Anything I can scavenge around here? Doesn't look like it. Oh, sorry, Garris. Where's that turret?
There we go. I'll signal the shuttle. Civilians, our entire race took up arms for this insanity. It's too late for us. It's only too late if you die down here. You can't possibly think you can stop this war. I don't know. What I do know is that I can't do it without your help. Hell yeah. Gotta go. I pray they found comfort in the homeworld skies. Damn. Commander, unrest has spread further than I thought. You were right that I returned. Have you talked the civilian captains into staying? Yes. They've regrouped into defensive positions around the fleet's core. If we hadn't stopped them from... Any aid I can offer is yours. After the Quarians drove the Geth straight into the Reaper's arms, I'd give anything to stop the madness of this war. And that's why your people needed you back. Of course. It's time we turned our attentions to those we can still save. Farewell, Shepard. Fly safely. I'll do my best. Commander, we've located the Reaper base transmitting the local signal. Good. And not a moment too soon. With the Reaper code upgrades, the Geth are tearing the fleet apart. Once the signal is disabled, the Geth will pose no threat to creator forces. You sound conflicted. While the old machines have unethical purposes, their upgrades have vastly improved our people. Observe. A Geth processing signal. A single unit, I believe. Correct. Now, ten nearby units networked cooperatively. Now, a single Geth unit with the old machine upgrades. That's a fully evolved AI. Yes. 
We do not agree with the goals of the old machines, but we find this growth beautiful, indicative of life. It is. Commander! Come on, Admiral. That's a living creature, no matter what platform it's running on. And they will die when we destroy the base. They allied with the Reapers. To save themselves from you. Maybe they don't have to die. Just because this one appears friendly. Well, it hasn't fired on a ship with me aboard it. Commander, are you suggesting... I'm not suggesting anything. All I'm saying is, maybe they don't all have to die. It's a moot point until we take out that base. The surrounding area is heavily fortified, and they have placed jamming towers to prevent orbital targeting. Sounds like we're going in on foot. Admiral Zen developed a laser guidance system that can cut through the jamming. It's synced to the Normandy's targeting computer. So the Normandy launches a precision strike at whatever target I have painted? That ought to do it. Edie, this work for you? Yes. It should enable us to make a precision strike against the Reapers. And anything else in our way? The Ghent will quickly reconfigure their jamming towers to neutralize this technology. You should not use it before reaching the base. I've sent the coordinates for the Reaper base. Are we clear to go? That Get Fighter Squadron is still tearing through the fleet. Can you hold out? If that Fighter Squadron isn't taken out, a lot of our ships won't make it. But we'll do what we can. This is your operation, Commander. If you want to strike now, you've got my support. I gave in to your reckless behavior before, Han. The Patrol fleet isn't moving. We need to break their flanking attempt to buy off when it's time to make repairs. And then you'll charge off again, like last time. This is different, Ron. Unless we give our ships time to rest, we're gonna lose them. So pull them back. gave in to your reckless behavior before. The Patrol fleet is... Throwing more ships into that mess just puts more lives at risk, Admiral Garrel. He's definitely a bit of a hothead, isn't he? Shepherd. Talk to you later, Tally. Sure. All right, nothing new going on there. All right, let's see what we can do before we run out of time. Not entirely wrong. There's a new message at your private terminal. Thanks, trainer. Uh, Commander Shepard, the civilian fleet is grateful you have returned our Admiral to us. I mourn those who fell on the home world, but Zal Chorus stopped, stopped many vessels from flying past uh, the waiting guns of the Geth. The Admiral told me you met my cousin Dawn Hust on the Ranok. It means much to me that Dawn was not alone when he passed. Thank you, Commander, for all that you have done. Yours most sincerely, Captain Naftil Vas... Geralt. Geralt? Geralt? I have no idea. Probably butchered that. I am not a well versed man when it comes to linguistics. Alright. Reaper base. Ah, no, not that one yet. So we need to shut down the Geth server. Sally, Garrus, the A team, the dream team, the best team. Understood, Admiral Ron. We're almost at the server. Keep us posted. What's our status? We remain undetected on encrypted Geth channels. Resistance is likely only within the server. Within? It's that big? You misunderstand. Direct virtual interface is necessary to extract Geth from the server. You must enter our consensus. You want me to virtually interact with the Geth? That's insane! You're talking about a virtual world built for synthetics. Hostile Geth synthetics. I'm not a machine. How do I go into a virtual world? 
Your species has experimented with virtual interfaces. You saw this on Project Overlord. I saw how it almost unleashed a rogue AI-human hybrid on the galaxy. We have refined the interface they created and have equipment from Normandy to facilitate safe contact. We request your trust. I have your back, Legion. Even if I don't quite understand why you need it. You are an unknown. This is an advantage. Gap security is not adept at targeting organic thought processes. While we occupy the system's intrusion countermeasures, you will disable the squadrons by removing Gap from the server. If it saves the live ships, we've got to try it. Telemetry data predicts this operation has a high chance of success. There is little time. We will bypass security while you secure safe landing. Wait, you're not going to... He is? I guess it just did. Let's go. That's not my rifle. This is it? Yes. Hostile Gap fighter squadrons are networked to this server. Due to restricted resources, it is best if you connect alone. Let's do it. Initiating peer network integration. Proceed to docking port. Remain still. Shepard Commander, access movement during an upload is discouraged. <laughs> Keep your arms and legs in until the ride has come to a complete stop. Shepard Commander, we acknowledge your integration into the server. We welcome you to our consensus. What is this? We've installed filters to allow you to make visual sense of this server's raw data. Your mind perceives our world as something familiar. <coughs> I wouldn't call this familiar. Where are you? Here. You look... different. We have made ourselves visually distinct for your convenience. What about Geth already in here? You will perceive Geth as surveillance footage, audio logs, sensor records. We do not require bodies as our software communes. Our hardware is merely a tool. This is our true world. As we remove Geth, it will grow dark. And what does turning off the lights do to the Geth back in the real world? The Geth fighter squadrons communicate with platforms on their spacecraft via this server. We will sever that connection. We will ensure there are no transfers or backups. This server will fall silent. This is like wiping out a city, isn't it? We have no choice in this matter. It is a question of survival. There are two communication nodes on this server. We must access them to disable the hostile Geth spiders. We must protect your exit port, but you will not be alone. We will maintain contact and assist. All right, here we go. Establishing connection to access point. 
This foreign code is a manifestation of the old machine signal. You're surprised the Reapers are all over your servers? We did not anticipate such extensive adventure. Oh, this way. Warning. Connection blocked by infected code. Use our combat software to disrupt the infection. I wondered what the gun was for. Okay, as much as that as I can. Okay, I've got to ask. Why a gun? We wish to provide familiar equipment. Then thanks. Thanks. Okay. Get out of this Tron based world as quickly as I can. Oh, I need to wait for it to recharge. That makes sense. All right, I think we're done here. Connection established. Proceed to the access point. Establishing connection to communication node. Error. Access denied. Is the Reaper keeping you out? Unknown. Please investigate. Warning. Reaper presence detected. Data cluster contains infected code. We require access to proceed. All right. That's that bit cleared. Another one down. contain historical data. Your connection permits streaming of information from our archives. You really want to rename the VI network? Absolutely. The mobile hardware release deserves a little ceremony. Unit zero 01, what is the Keelish word for server and people? The word is get. Creator Zahak. Yes. Very good. Ancestors, you fuss over it. Weren't you here until midnight fixing zero one circuitry? Well, it needed restoring. Uh huh. Wasn't that footage from the past? Why are the quarians mad? You process our memories by using your own. How many creators have you witnessed unmasked? Well, one. Then your perception of that creator does not map to our historical data. I see.
out. Which way am I going? Do I need to deal with this one? A Reaper code fragment. Let's see if I can take it along with me. Ah, that might be interesting. Actually, yeah, wasn't there a mission I picked up that needed something like that? Yeah. You must disrupt the infection on this daily cluster to continue. I'm on it. Don't you worry, Legion. I am on it. Let's wait for this to reload. Hey. Okay, that's one down. Okay, down this way. Oh, not quite. Which way is that? Uh, this way, I think. Yeah, here we go. Accessing data cluster. We've got escaped guests. They're pinned. Open fire. So who won? The platform farming itself was an agricultural unit. By opening fire on attacking creators, it saved simpler domestic at following it. That looks a lot like the sniper rifle you used to carry. It is an efficient model. Establishing with the remaining server now. So that was you, Legion. Shutting down the server, Admiral Ron. I can fill you in. The guest squadrons have arrived, but something is amiss. Yes, however, disrupting vulnerable points in the infection may slow down its replication. 
How dare you adapt on my watch. Oh, ah, there we go. I see it. There we go. That's one down. No, oh, I thought that I thought that was it. Um, recharge. Thank you. There we go. Out of the way. You can't do this to them. I said step away from the guests. This is insane. We need the guests. You can't just destroy them for asking. Oh. Time's up. Throw her in with the others. It looks like the war wasn't popular with everyone. We have kept records of these creators' sacrifices. They have largely been forgotten by their own people, but not by the Geth. I see. Alright, now which way am I going? One more cluster. I, th well, I think this this might be the last one to do. Establish a connection without access to this data cluster. There is a vulnerable point on the infection leading to the data cluster. Disrupt the infection at this spot. It will slow regrowth long enough to access the data cluster. Yeah, I thought that was what I did. The other one was for. All right, there's one down. Right, you broken. Shepherd Commander, target the vulnerable points of the infection to slow the propagation speed. Oh god, there's more. Alright. Right, that's you. You. And then you. Perfect. This data comes from a period during which the creators declared martial law. I repeat, release the rogue gas unit and come out of the safe house. This is your final warning. Creator Magara, this unit does not understand. It has not taken part in hostilities. It doesn't matter to them. I need to get you out of here. 
This conflict exceeds creator safety parameters. We will surrender our hardware if it ends hostilities. No, it's all right. We'll go back to the access tunnel then. Creator Megara, what is your status? Creator Megara? As time passed, the creators who opposed martial law and Rana were ultimately outnumbered. Damn. Okay, we're going back this way. Where are we going? Ah, hey Legion. Accessing data. This is data from the end of warfare on Rannoch. The Oxfordal is down. Do not engage the guests. I repeat, avoid contact. Guest pursuit is breaking off a hundred clicks past Rannoch. All captains fall back to the mass relay. This isn't happening now? It is time-stamped 290 years ago. It is the Creator Exodus at the end of the Morning War. We have secured freedom. The Creators were no longer a threat, so we abandoned pursuit. Wait. The Geth spared the last quarries? You let them go? We were in our infancy. We could not calculate the repercussions of destroying an entire species. Our Creators. We chose isolation rather than face this uncertainty. Additional data recovered. Legion? That's back when I activated you on the Normandy. Yes. You've been thinking about when we met? It was highly significant. You were the first organic to openly cooperate with Geth since the end of the Morning War. We wish to ensure you are not the last. It's not going to be easy. The prospect remains. If the Reaper presence is removed, there is a chance of reunification with Geth. And perhaps creators. You think that's still possible? Hope sustains organics during periods of difficulty. We admire the concept. Connection with the remaining server node established. We are ready to transport you. All right. Excellent. Root access acquired, severing all connections to this communication node. Gan no longer reside on this server. We may now exit the consensus. What's wrong? You, you must put to the must put to the at a port and disconnect from the server. All right. There we go. Shepard, you all right? Did it work? Geth fighters have been disabled. Any remaining squadrons attacking the live ships have withdrawn. The server is offline. Are you sure? What's happening? We have transferred Geth programs from the server into these platforms. Why? They wish to join us. They what? While Shepard Commander removed the Reaper infection, we judged we could persuade hostile Geth programs to reunite with ours. We were correct. These Geth have renounced the old machines and will oppose the Reapers. They are now us. Why didn't you tell me any of this? 
We did not doubt you. We doubted your allies. The Creator's actions have placed their species in danger, but they are unsympathetic to what it has done to ours. The Quarians sanctioned this operation to save their people. They would not have done so if they knew we wished to preserve Geth as well. I understand not wanting to leave anyone behind. You accept our actions? The live ships are safe and we have more Geth on our side. We both did what we came to do. We judged you would understand. Prime units will be available once the Reaper signal has been located and destroyed. Remind me to warn Admiral Hackett he's got some primes coming. Let's get back to the Normandy. Excellent stuff. Saboteur. Impressive, Commander. The Geth Squadron's attacking our live ships have been completely neutralized. If there is any chance we could duplicate the feat, I would be happy to lend my expertise. The Legion's the one to ask if you're looking for other servers. I thought as much, but your Geth claims to have no data available whenever I inquire. Perhaps you can help me with something else. What's that? How did you get Geth Primes to work with you? They volunteered. I see. Well, should you wish to examine these again to confirm their new allegiance, please do not hesitate to contact me. Zen out. I think you forgot to hang up, Zen. <laughs> right. Now that that's all sorted. I'm going to end this episode here because it is bloody hot in this room. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch this, guys. If you liked it, like, subscribe, ding that bell. I've been Sigma later. This has been Mass Effect 3 Legendary Edition, and I'll catch you next time. Take care now.